always this big. Okay, the complaint of a swollen, a swelling actually. Yeah. Hold her close and her mouth is swelling. This is a bit kind to pet's veterinary educational video. A dwarf hamster has an impacted right chip pouch again. Sponsored by Topayo Vets. History of the hamster. So the weight of the hamster is important because it tells us whether it's healthy or not. So 41 grams is a bit low but uh, <coughs> acceptable. 41 grams for a dwarf hamster of a one year old. Okay, so now I look at the history. This is the history. Now history in uh, May, May actually is only about four months ago. He did come in with a right swelling as well, which I draw, which I illustrated. And what happened? What happened was uh, he was sedated, and the impacted cheek pouch was a diagnosis on the right side. And did he recover or not? Yeah. Huh, he yes. did. She recovered, but she's she recovered, very strange. She just likes to stuff so, food on that side. Uh, so she she did recover for a few days, and then she starts huh? laughing. Is it? Yes. This, this, this is awful. Oh, so she did, she did recover yeah, only a while, few days and then she will start stuffing. After that, if she's well, happy, this... after a few weeks later, she might push it out. But this time round, she has been storing it there for more than the normal duration that I've seen her doing that. How long was that? More than two weeks, I think. More than two weeks, and if I, if I... Hold her close, I think she, her mouth is smelling. Oh. On and off previously. No, by the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. By the back. Yes. By me, actually. Oh, no. I think I have May 25, 2014. But after that, I think uh, there was antibiotics given, right? Yeah. So I guess that time there was infection and uh, antibiotics was given and then the cat, I mean the hamster recovers lah. That time was it smelly? No. That time was smelly yeah. then from then until now. Okay then four months later, now it's not five months, about five months later. But in between she will still do the stuffing of stuff. Yeah, the one stuffing is common. Yeah. It's just that this hamster it's is obsessed common. with storage. Yes, and only on one side. Mm. It favors one side, like people, some people favors eating on one side of the mouth, you know, chewing. Mm. If I love some nice, they like to chew with the left uh, foot. So now the thing is, most likely there is an inflammation inside. Yeah. So the hamster, that, that, that there's a smell. That's why mm -hmm. she said there's a smell. And so now we have to dislodge the the pouch again and clean it up. And uh, now the other possibility is to remove the cheek pouch. Uh, I don't think you want it like that. So, uh, but then I, normally I just do uh, surgery and cut it off. So. You cannot store anymore, I see. Because storing of the food in the cheap pot actually is not necessary for the domestic hamsters in Singapore because the owners always overfeed them actually. Yeah. They always have a lot of food. They, they, they're never starved, right? But this is the habit from the from the from generations I guess uh, from evolution. Uh, they store it so that they can uh, in times of uh, famine uh, they can have food really. So okay, so I will just sedate, I will just sedate the hamster and then give her the cheap pouch and clear up the pouch, give her the antibiotics. There's an inflammation again, he's been scratching here. So the owner cannot pick it up for him. That's why he comes here. But this why it's okay, but this inflammation so I'll just have some footage on this now. Okay, so okay now I'm going to give an injection to the muscle. The back side. It's a bit of sedation there. Okay, normally I'll just get the muscle here. Okay, finish. Three minutes after the little 50 injection, I am. The hamster is a bit groggy now. We will commence the putting him inside the bowl and uh, we will start to evacuate the pouch. I'll put it here. Come. Okay. Now, now this is a bit uh, groggy now. Yeah, you can see. So we we hold over the bow in case it falls falls down. Uh, 
the best is slowly uh, press up uh, like that, uh, uh, even, uh, even the pouch. Even, use, use the fingers because I think that some seeds are stuck inside. So that's why the owner can't do it. Uh. But the uh, sort of uh, very smelly, I can smell it, uh, some rotten skins, rotten chip pouch smell. Uh. Now, can you smell it? Mm. Uh, this is all a lot uh, like hay like the last time. Uh. Some more. The hamster has been sedated with the tail I am, so it's not so stressful to the hamster. This is the second time on the right pouch. The left pouch is okay because I don't, don't hold the hamster too much, too long. Because uh, we don't know whether he will get heart attack or not. Wait, uh, check first. I guess it's the pellets, uh, those stars. Uh, do you fit stars or not? Maybe just give one star pellet. One star pellet, because that one is probably the cause of this uh, grassy, uh, sticky uh, stuff. Uh. Normally the seeds. In fact, the hamster is supposed to peel the seeds. I don't know why the seeds are still. Anyway, whatever it is, just to shake the foot or massage the red cheek pouch every day but, or every two days massage uh, to make sure that it's empty. Or the smell is due to the cheek uh, ulcer, this ulcer there. Now you can see the hamster has recovered fully from the, the sedation actually. And you cannot believe it. Uh, you now he looks so looking for his foot again. Uh. Obsessed with storage. Yes, and only on one side. Mm -hmm. They prefer one side, like people, some people favour eating on one side of the mouth, you know, chewing. Uh. But for example, sometimes they like to chew with the left uh, foot. Always consult the vet early when your hamster has impacted cheek pouches for more than three days. A question from the owner. What should I do to prevent recurrence? Cheek pouch every day, but for every two days massage, uh, to make sure that it's empty. Another student, the owner can give her just sufficient amount of food in the bowl, and that way, she does not have sufficient amount to store. Before we conclude, I would like to share with you some of the similar cases. Case 1. It's a dwarf hamster 1.5 years, have an impacted left cheek pouch. Case 2. This hamster has an inverted cheek pouch. Case 3. This 2 years old hamster has a right inverted cheek pouch and tumour in the right ear. Lastly, this hamster has an impacted left cheek pouch as you can see on the alphabet XYZ. To conclude, impacted cheek pouches can become infected, causing pain, infection and loss of appetite. Sometimes, hamsters try to clear food inside by hand. Sometimes they evert their cheek pouch as shown in case 2. These everted cheek pouches need to be put back inside the cheek by the vet.